Happy Valentine's Day, you quilters. Today's show is all about the love of quilting. Stay tuned for plenty of inspiration. You're sure to love. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt creativity expert. Welcome to today's trunk show called For the Love of Quilting. Today we're going over why we love quilting, especially with the AccuQuilt system. That's right. Plus, we'll be joined by one of our newest go-getters, Chris Marcini. I can't wait to hear what he loves about quilting with AccuQuilt. Okay, he's a blast. He is. I'm really he's excited. He's so fun. He's really great. All right, so we also have plenty more in store. We have prizes you're gonna love, adorable project ideas, and an inspirational trunk show. So many things. So many quilts we're showing today. Yes. I'm excited. All right, we're sharing all the love for quilting today. And for starters, we've got some of our favorite dyes that we love with some examples of some lovely projects. All right, so when we talk about dyes that we love, we have to include the Go Log Cabin die. I have to tell you, this is actually my top five. Yeah. I love yep. this die. This has been one of our most popular block on board or bob dies, which means it has all the pieces on the die board to make the block. And let me show you this block. So this, um, we'll talk about, you can make different sizes of blocks. Right, right. But here's a 12 inch block. Right. Uh, just two different colors. Yep. Look at how fun this is, but this is my favorite. So this is a version of courthouse steps mm -hmm. and totally scrappy, which is the thing I love about the most. The H in the center stands for Heller. Of course it does. Yeah. Well, one of the things that we love so much about this die is about the flexibility. Right. Because as Pam alluded to earlier, you can use fewer logs logs yes. and make smaller blocks. It's just so satisfying. Right. And again, it is great for those scraps. So let's take a look at this die and talk about it for a second. Okay. So when you look at this, Erica, it's going to cut all of the strips through to our one and a half inches mm -hmm. high, and then it's going to cut all of the lengths or yes. widths, I guess. So there's a blade here and here and here and here, and there's one in the center. And then, and then yep. So yep. when, you, when you're laying down your fabric, for example, with courthouse steps, you only need shapes one, three, five, seven, and nine. Right. So you can just lay your fabric over one, three, five, seven, and nine. Yes. And then run it through the cutter. Or you could make an eight inch log yeah. cabin or yeah. a 10 or at whatever size you want to. It's just so flexible. You could mm -hmm. make it to match up with virtually any die because right. of that. Right, and I think that that's one of the great benefits of this because I think log cabin is one of those classic blocks and quilters like, is. oh, how do I make one? Uh, there's a die for that. There is a die for that, and it really is very satisfying to yep. make. So let's take a look at one of our favorite samples. Now this is a pattern that we've had for a while, but this is a new colorway that we're in love this with. This is a new colorway. This is the Ghost Scrappy Star Log Cabin Quilt, and the pattern and the die actually were designed by Leslie Main of Leslie Quilts. Okay, so look at this, Erica. I think that this is phenomenal. First of all, you have kind of those batik looks right. for the white, and that's actually kind of the same line. Right, it is. Right? It's the it's same just, fabric, but it's kind of, you know, it's got the variations mm -hmm. in color. And then the darks, I love how they've taken the stripes and made it part of the strips. Yes. This is my new favorite version of Log Cabin. Yeah. I don't often really gush over um, this quilt because I just love it a lot. Yes. But I love the fact that it's scrappy and that there's such bold and bright colors. Yes. And then look, here's the back. Really fun. Just really. kind of pulls all the colors from the front into one yeah. print on the back. I need to be making this. All right. Okay. Well, since we're feeling all the love for this show, we've got another log cabin sample to take a look at. That oh, is this one perfect is, mm -hmm, for today. For today, I, held, I moved it upside down, sideways. Yes. There. There we go. I'll it's, stand back so we can get a good shot. This is the Log Cabin Love wall hanging with Robert Kaufman Fabrics. And again, this is just such a fun, 
Right. Fun design. It was. It's so fun to make. I love making log cabin blocks. You just, you know, just, just kind keep of going get, around it's a and rhythm. around. Right. It's that rhythm that we like mm -hmm. in chain piecing. Right. And then you put it together, and you've got this great design. And it's beautiful. And this is a great project. You don't necessarily have to make it for Valentine's Day. No. You could make it for Mother's Day, mm -hmm. you know, for your mom or, you know, somebody special in your life. You could totally change the color and make it purple. Yes, you could. You could, because Erica would love that. You could that. have it for a wedding. Oh, you could. Wedding season is wedding coming. Wedding season is upon us. And then look at this cute fabric on the Very back. Very cute. And it's a great way to kind of show off the quilting which just, is just lines. Just random wavy lines, really fun. All right. All right, so no chat about block and board dies that we love would be complete without our good friend, the Go Wonky Heart. That's right. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna show you this die. Yes. Um, first of all, it's on a 10 by 10 die board. It's gonna fit through our Go Cutter and our mm -hmm. Go Big. Mm -hmm. And we have screen printed the letters here. Which is important. Which is important, we'll show you why. And this is one of those dies that all the shapes are directional. Yes. So when you lay your fabric, you want it all to face up. Yes. Erica, what happens if you fan fold your fabric back and forth? It doesn't work. And then you cry real tears. Yeah, half your pieces and, will be back. And backwards. we're about the love today. Yes, we're not so about the no tears. tears. Okay, so here, look at this sweet little block it makes. It's just so adorable. It's a six inch finished block. Yep. And really you can do it with, we've got some samples, you'll see you can do it with any fabric, with any color. Right. It's a great fit for layer cake squares. Right. You know, those are pre-cut mm -hmm. 10 inch squares. If you've got some of those lying around, you don't know what to do with it. This would be a great project. Yes, and shall I tell you my little cheat? Do. Uh, so I loved this fabric, <laughs> but I didn't have a 10 inch piece of it. So you just laid over? I did, over the pieces that are for the center. That's not a cheat, that's working smart, not hard, Pam. All right, so let's lay down our fabric. We're gonna cut some and show. Because what you can do, you can always cut up to six layers of cotton. Yes. And we want all of our fabric facing up. Right. Okay, there. And again, perfect like Erica said for layer cakes. So you're cutting, we've got two layers here. That's actually gonna give us two blocks. Right, and you can cut up to six layers and we're just gonna show you how to change it all. All right, here we go. Again, we're using our Go Big today because we can. Because we can. I do like that fabric. Isn't that cute? That is super cute. I think you have that in your bathroom. I think so. it looks very similar to mine. Yeah. I wonder I like it. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna give it a little love. We're gonna slide down. Okay, it is pouring down rain outside in Nebraska today. <laughs> it is pouring it down is rain. It's so humid here in the and, dreams. And studio. we're thinking that it's gonna become so snowy come tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, yeah. yeah. So look, okay, this is my favorite. Now, before we talk about this, let me show you this. Because someone was talking about how you could, if you put fusible on it, you could take this and make like stained glass windows. Oh. Right? I was well, in an event. that clever? I know, I was in an event somewhere and somebody was showing Dang. me Dang. I know, the things we learned. Your quilters are such a clever group. All right, so here's what you wanna do. You wanna shuffle these three pieces, which are the hearts. Yes. And we're just gonna shuffle them like this. And all of these shapes have that quarter inch seam allowance built in. And here's what I did, Erica. I did six at a time, because yep. then I can just leave it on the die. And that actually gives you six blocks at yeah. a time. You're not just cutting one block. No. You're cutting six blocks at yeah. a time. That is fantastic. And of all the dies we own, this one is crucial to follow the sewing instructions. Yes. Because how you sew it together matters. It does. Okay. It really does. All right, but I bet you have a sample, yes? Well, you know I do. I know. So here we've got our Go Wonky Heart Table Runner. I love this because it teams it up with the six inch cube. Right here in the and middle. We've got our square on point or square on a square units there in the middle. We've got the little squares around the border. This would be so quick, so fun. Yes, and I think, that I just love the scrappiness of the fabric. I love those red fabrics, it's beautiful. You could make this bigger. You could take this same concept and make it bigger. It would make a really cute baby quilt, actually. Oh, it would be so sweet. You could do it in pinks or blues or neutral tones. Yeah. That's a great idea. It would or be really fun. Or you could make fun. a bed runner. Or a bed runner. 
We've got a bed runner in our trunk show coming up. Oh, see, look at us knowing. Spoiler something. alert. <laughs> well, one of the newest block on board dies that we are both in love with is the Go North Carolina Star. Now, this was a die to try that was so popular, it sold out very quickly. And we recently brought it back into our permanent collection. We did. Now, it sold out for a second time, but don't worry. There are more that are gonna be coming. And in the meantime, you should be sure and check with, <coughs> excuse me, your local retailer and see if they have one in stock for you right now. Okay, so this is such a great die. And there is great value in this mm -hmm. die because look at these big half square triangles and smaller half square triangles and it has squares and quarter, quarter square squares. triangles and these are the outside of triangle in a rectangle yes but they're also the outsides to this shape b yes it's all screen printed you want to follow the instructions on how you put it together because again the way you put it together matters yes all right and i i just love it it is just an amazing chain piecing block Yes. Now this bob has so many design options. If you missed the die to try launch, be sure to watch it um, now. All of our live events live on our website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. They should wait until after this show though. Yes, wait. Wait till after this show. Our expert Barbara Harper made, listen to this, 28 different blocks with this die using just black and white. I know. And it was absolutely amazing and Blue inspiring. Blue our minds. Yeah. Yeah. Be sure to check it out. And then when we brought the die back, our own Katie took the pattern for the North Carolina rings quilt, which we have here, We're show which it to you. was my favorite to start with. Yes. And I love the colorway. Yes. All right, here. So here's the original that it's came out. It's by Amanda Harward. Yes. Of Larkspur, of Larkspur Quilts. We love it. And you can see we've put, got the boxer on point here. And putting them on point gives us the rings. It gives us yeah, that secondary circular design. No circles, no curves. Right. Um, it's just the illusion of the circular design made all with the straight. And edges. all of the patterns that we show you today from our trunk show are available as free downloads at AccuQuilt.com. Yes. So yes. this one is available. It's called North Carolina Rings. And that was the original version. Then using Go Quilt. Katie gave it a lovey-dovey makeover with Valentine colors. Look at this. And here's what they looked like. Okay, we were just so in love we with were. these. I mean, these aren't these adorable? They're darling. And both Eric and I had not seen them before the show. And we both fell in love with the one on the left with yes. the pink background. And the others were beautiful. You would have thought I'd love the black and red one, but I like yep. the pink one. No, we both love that pink yep. one. And then the gray background is super cool. So if you aren't familiar with Go Quilt, it's a free design tool at AccuQuilt.com that lets you try out different colors on any Go pattern. Well, Eric and I were so inspired that we both went to the fabric store yes. separately. Yes. And we both got fabric to make one. Yes. We didn't go together. and We didn't show each other our choices until today. Yeah. So here's what we have so far. So, right. so um, my blocks are on the design wall at home. Yeah, but we're going to, you've got gonna, four of them I here, do. so we so can lay them out. Them. Yes, so here. Should we do them this way? Sure. There we go. All right, so this is my version of the four, because you want them on point. Mm -hmm. And look at how fun look this how is. Look how fun this is. So I loved it, and I wanted it to obviously be for Valentine's Day, but I also wanted a little pattern in there for maybe yeah, spring. The, the little pattern is fun. Yeah. Yeah, and it was really fun. Super and fun neither on. Eric and I n had seen each other. Well, right. I'd seen uh, just a version of Erica's, but right. not the quilt top. Not the quilt top. All right, so, so those are my blocks. Okay, and which so. Which really I want to go home and sew. Right, and here's my top. Okay, I'll hold it. Okay. And then you can talk about the setting triangles on it. Okay. So, so look at Erica's, isn't this so pretty? So my two different pinks are pretty close. And it's interesting to note that this color that I have here is as the only, medium. as my medium, is Pam's dark. So we only repeated one color, well, okay, the white. White, but yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so my pink is actually a woven. It is. And it's that uh, kind of a linen look. It's a Robert yeah. Kaufman fabric. Yeah. And then I've got the solids. Yeah. 
So, I but this has got a little texture when you get up close to it. Right. So this is using our setting triangles and we're just using the side setting triangles with this right. one. And we've put two of them together on the corners to make a big corner that really frames out our design. So this makes a 12 inch finish block. So we use the 12 inch setting triangles. Mm -hmm and just the sides, because Amanda was brilliant and figured yeah, that out. Yeah, she was, she was, and you can so see those hopefully rings. hopefully Amanda's pretty happy with this because we were following her good example. And huge shout out to Katie for being yes. so brilliant. See, Katie, see what we made? All right, as you may have guessed, we really do share the same brain in so many ways. So many. And speaking of which, uh, can you tell what dyes I think we're gonna talk about next? <gasps> Strip dyes. Yes. We love them, and we know that quilters love them too all 18 of them, because every time we ask, that's what you say. That's right. Now, when quilter, we ask quilters what dyes they love, I would say the two and a half inch strip dye, hands down, hands top, down, top, number one. top three. Yep. All right, so. Every time. Um, strip dyes are always in the mix, so let's take a look at a couple of strip dry projects, and I'm gonna go back there and get oh, this one. Oh, yes, because I love this one. This is the Go Valentine Mailbox. It's by Carolina Moore ah. of Always Expect More. Carolina's. Isn't this cute? Okay, look, it has a... It has a, a flag. little flag. Because sometimes the mail is in there. In. And it's squishy, and it has a zipper. Mm -hmm. It is just darling. It's scrappy, and yes. it just couldn't be cuter. I think she used on this one the multi-strip die that she cuts did. the one, one and a half, and two inch strips. Yep, we do. And it, that die is perfect for today's show because this is such a great project. It really right, so is. So I'm gonna put this back because apparently we're getting Valentine mail in it. <gasps> we're getting mail, we're getting a delivery. I know, I'm excited. It's exciting. All right, so we've got something else with a strip die. You want to tell them which one oh, it yes. is while this I figure out the top and the bottom? This is my heart strip quilt, and we've used Robert Kaufman fabrics. And this one is great because it uses that big six inch strip die, six and a half inch. This is, if you need a quick project, quilters. So quick. This is a great one. And it's good for beginners, advanced, it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, you can change up the colors. Yep. The rainbow is super pretty. You could do all Valentine colors. You could do prints. You could do whatever you wanted to, but it's super fun. Super easy, just wavy little quilting between those big strips. Yeah, and a lot of sewing machines, regular sewing machines have that stitch mm -hmm. so that you can just get that effect on your home machine. I love the backing on that back. purse. This is Pam's. This is mine. This is for my little granddaughter, Oakley, who's not so little it's anymore. It's little sparkly. It has sparkles on it. Okay, of course it was because sparkles. all little girls need sparkles yes. in their lives. And then I just took some ha uh, Halloween fabric. <laughs> I took some Valentine fabric. So this is your other favorite this holiday. Is my other favorite holiday is Valentine's Day. Um, I think it's so fun because, honestly, I found all of this fabric on sale like 40% off, like February 1st. Right. And I was able to cut it all up and make this cute little Valentine. Super cute. Um, quilt. It lays on Oakley's bed during Valentine's season. Does she not just come in the house? I know my grandkids come in the house and they want a quilt and they want to curl up with it. Yeah. And yeah, she just thinks it's fabulous. Yeah. Well, there are so many things to love in today's show. So how about giving away $100 in AccuQuilt reward points Let's to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show so you can put it towards an AccuQuilt product that you love? Oh, I think that's a lovely idea. <laughs> the registered winner of $100 in AccuQuilt reward points is, drum roll please. Oh, look at that for Valentine's Day. K.E. of Hoyton, United Kingdom. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. Is that Cupid's? I think it's Sparkle. I think it's Cupid's Cupid Sparkle. Sparkle. Valentine's Sparkle. Sparkles. Very. Yeah, we'll call it Sparkles. Sparkles. Well, just since, steady. since today's show is full about love and sparkles, <coughs> we want to know what AccuQuilt product you love. Now, let us know in the comments section, wherever you stream our show, don't forget, you can list more than one. Oh. Eric and I love more than one yes, of our do. products. We okay. do, we couldn't pick just one. No. And while you're letting us know what AccuQuilt product you love, we caught up with some quilters on the AccuQuilt team. So let's hear what Alyssa loves. Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa. I'm the creative copywriter. And one thing that I really like about AccuQuilt is how there's just such a wide variety of applique dyes. And two, not one, of my favorite applique dyes are 
the Go Owl die, and the Go Owl accessories die. So singularly, there's a lot of options that you can use to kind of create like a bunch of different patterns. But if you use your quilting head and think outside the box, you can make a little desk buddy like I have. This is Windsor. I keep him on my desk while I'm working. And if I ever need any inspiration, I look to him because owls are just so full of wisdom. Okay, I love that the owl's name is Windsor. I love it. I don't know how, I, Alyssa, you're gonna have to tell me how you came up with the name, but Super I love that. Super cute. Super cute. All right, so after hearing what Alyssa loves, let's hear from our newest go-getter. His name is Chris Marcini. Chris is a quilt pattern designer who puts his own unique twist on this timeless art form. After watching quilting videos on YouTube for years, <laughs> he decided to make a quilt for his mother-in-law for Christmas. That led him to making additional quilts for more family members as gifts. After not being able to find a pattern to match an idea for a quilt, he started drafting his own patterns because he's brilliant. Of course he brilliant. did. Yes. Now, Chris has gained popularity online, growing a large audience on TikTok and Instagram, where he posts short videos that range from how-to tutorials to fabric posts for upcoming projects. He recently created a quilt entirely decided by numbering quilt blocks and fabrics and rolling Dungeons and Dragons dice to determine which ones to use, making what he called his randomly generated quilt box. And I think he used the eight inch cube for all of his yes. blocks, right? Eight inch cube for all of them. Okay. And I think he used to go me too. He did. He did. All right. Let's see what Chris loves about the AccuQuilt system. Hi there. Chris here. So if you don't already know who I am, I'm a quilt pattern designer and one of AccuQuilt's newest go-getters. So I've been sewing since I was pretty young. And even though I had made a few quilts in my younger days, I never really considered myself a quilter until probably about 2018 when I decided to make a quilt for my mother-in-law for Christmas. Well, I got a little bit addicted. You could say I got bit by that quilting bug because that year I ended up making four additional quilts to gift to my children, my sister-in-law, and my own mother. Now in 2019, I started designing my own patterns because I had a vision in my head for a quilt and I just could not for the life of me find a pattern that matched what I wanted to make. During the process of designing my first quilt, I had a lot of trial and error and development, and I ended up with a set of shapes and sizes that I've since used to create close to a dozen different quilts. When I got my AccuQuilt last year, I was excited to find out that a lot of the shapes and sizes that I was already using in my patterns are actually part of the eight inch mix and match cube and the companion sets. So my style is pretty eclectic. I do a lot of different styles of quilts. I don't like to confine myself to just modern or just traditional. So I do a lot of things like my randomly generated quilts where I don't even know what it's gonna look like when I get started, or even my own original patterns that are kind of a mosaic style, big picture type of quilt. And I'm not afraid of color. I like bold prints, I like big prints, I like florals and bright colors, and I'm not afraid to mix them together, as you can see. Sometimes I even let the dice decide what my quilt's gonna look like, like both of these quilts behind me. I love being able to take something like, say, a vintage print, something that feels very out of date, maybe you might find as a bit ugly, you don't know what to do with it, but pair it up with some really fresh modern solids, maybe some stripes, and get a completely new look out of it just with what you pair it with. I have heard it said that if you think your fabric's ugly, you just haven't cut it small enough yet. Now, another thing I really like about my AccuQuilt is its versatility. It's great for traditional quilters doing traditional quilt blocks, and it's great for modern quilters making large-scale modern blocks. You can mix it up within your same project. You can go from traditional to modern on your next project, all with the same machine and the same set of dies. Having that versatility is what drew me to quilting in the first place. I can make a traditional quilt pattern, and then on my next quilt, I can do one of my own patterns that's a large picture. It's completely different, but they're both made by me, and I enjoy them equally as much. With the dies, such as the mix and match cube, I find myself looking at the shapes and trying to come up with new ways to fit them together to make new blocks. It's kind of like playing with those um, those tangrams from grade school, you know, in geometry class where you'd put all the little shapes together and make different animals. I always loved those. I get asked a lot on social media which dies I would recommend to someone who's just starting out with their AccuQuilt. 
and I have found myself hands down always recommending the 8 inch mix and match cube. I really like this cube set because all of the shapes work together and you can come up with some really unique and interesting blocks. Both of these quilts behind me were made using the 8 inch cube and the companion sets and as you can see they are wildly different from each other. Another question I get asked a lot is what's the number one piece of advice that I give to a new quilter? Someone who hasn't made a quilt yet or maybe they've made a baby quilt but they want to expand and I would say expect to make mistakes and not only expect them but learn to embrace them. That is what makes your quilt uniquely yours. It wasn't made by a machine. It was made by you, by your hands. So learn to embrace those mistakes. Don't let them drag you down. Quilting is supposed to be fun, so you should enjoy the process of making your quilt. And the second piece of advice I give is to see it through. See it all the way through. So if your fabrics aren't looking quite like you liked, maybe you're having trouble getting all your points to match up. I know it can be frustrating, but finish that quilt. And I mean finish it all the way to the binding. You could use it as a picnic blanket. You can use it as a couch throw. But having it finished and seeing it and using it will only give you the encouragement to make another one. You're going to have it there as a functional quilt reminding you of how far you've come. Because with each quilt you make, you're just going to get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better. Plus, I always like to say, it all comes out in the wash. Every tiny mistake you've made, maybe your points didn't match up perfectly, every little blip in your quilting where all of that disappears once you've washed your quilt and it comes out of the dryer and it's got that wonderful quilt crinkle. You'll never see those mistakes again. So no two quilts of mine are alike. I like to keep it fresh and I love to learn new things. And that is why I love quilting so much. If you'd like to follow along on my quilting journey, be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, all under Rose City Originals. See you there. I think that's great advice, though, have isn't it? Shirts that are embroidered in that. Just finish it. No, I think that's great advice yeah, for somebody it is. who's just starting to quilt. Otherwise, you become like us and have UFOs. Right, but and you've got that sense. You don't get the same sense of accomplishment. Right until it's all the way done. It's quilted, yeah. it's bound, and you're right. He's right, yeah. use it in the backyard, use it for picnics, it doesn't yeah. matter. And have you not said to yourself, looking at a quilt in your past, it'll, it'll quilt out. It will, I'll wash or, that, I'll it'll wash be it, it'll fine. be fine. It'll be fine. Good words to live by quilters. Yeah. All right, Chris is fabulous. Listen, follow him on Instagram. He is hilarious. Yes. Right now, he is cleaning his sewing space. <laughs> Bless his heart. Bless his heart. <laughs> if you want to know more about Chris, he was our featured quilt artist for our quilt gallery last fall. You can check out the interview I did with him. That was the first time we met, and we've loved him ever since. That's right, and you can also check out our blog post covering some of Chris's quilts as well. Yep, and he's Rose City Originals. Yes. All right, now, as much as I love our bob dies and our strip dies, yes. I have to say I might have to love our cubes more. I agree. They are the foundation of our system and open the door to making almost anything. It, that's a great call, and I love it. If you aren't familiar with our cubes, and Chris talked a lot about them too, right. the system starts with our Go Mix and Match blocks, eight shapes that all work together to make over 72 different quilt blocks. And we have seven different sizes of cubes. Right. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and twelve inch finish box sizes to be exact. And remember, we have patterns for those 72 mix Absolutely and match blocks. Absolutely we do. But and they're free, downloadable from AccuQuilt, mm -hmm. but really the possibilities are endless they when are. it comes to that. They are. Now the shapes in each go mix and match cube are the same shape in every cube, they're just different sizes. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn more about our cubes, be sure to check out our videos and video classes. We have tons of them. Uh, we also have Go Cube companion sets, both angles and corners. Each of these sets add four more shapes and a minimum of 72 blocks mm -hmm. per uh, companion set. So That's right. 216 patterns, possibilities are endless. Incredible value. Now these geometric dies all work together just like our other great dies with our two t patented two-tone foam yes. with those dog-eared corners and that quarter-inch seam allowance already built in. 
So let's take a look how the cubes that we love can play a part in our lovely projects. Okay, and we're gonna start off with the quilt hanging behind us. Pam's gonna go back and show us. This is the Go Cube nine inch crisscross quilt. It's Dear Stella fabric, and I love this one. Okay, I love this watercolor fabric. Those, I just those think florals it's are so, so pretty. So pretty, and look at all of these. Mm -hmm. So let's just kind of uh, shape it out for a second. So here's our signature block. Okay. And here's shape number five from the original uh, cube, and these are from angles. And then look, right here's that chisel shape. Yes. Which is so hard to cut, and then we add shape five, which are half square triangles. Lovely. So everything comes together. Look at how perfect those points come together because you've cut them perfectly. You have that quarter inch seam allowance. It's beautiful. Again, all of our patterns that we're gonna show you today, free patterns at AccuQuilt.com. And some lovely straight line quilting on that as well. And that one's beautiful. I mean, it's it perfect for today because of Valentine's it Day. It is. But again, you need to think ahead. You need to think of like Mother's Day <laughs> or weddings. I think that that would be a beautiful wedding it gift. It would be. You could do it in the wedding mm -hmm. colors. Yeah. All right. Just a reminder that Go Quilt allows you to reimagine any project in a different colorway. So you can also make the same quilt for any season or holiday just by changing your fabrics. And it's a little addictive, quite frankly. <laughs> Always we use it. <laughs> so that is a great reminder. Now, I know I've been enjoying making seasonal placemats as a way yes. to keep up with the changing seasons and holidays. And here are some that I really need to make. Okay, I want you to make these for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, make us each one. There we go. How about here, that? Let's, we'll lay them down here. Okay. And you can lay yours on top. Okay, I'll lay mine on top. Okay, these are called the Go Sweetheart Placemats by Andy Knowlton of a brighter corner. And Andy used Riley Blake fabrics. Okay, so everything I love about this. This is just scrappy happy goodness, isn't yes. it? Yes. So Look, we've got neutral fabric. B fabric. We've got little quilt blocks. We have we fabric with buttons. writings. Here's little, look at those little tiny spools of thread. Yeah. I mean, there is nothing not to love yeah. on this. Then we've got our hearts. Yes, and this is our heart die. Uh, we have two dies, the queen of hearts and hearts. This uh -huh. has our heart die. And then um, we made this with our cube. And look, four inch cube making those tiny little flying geese and the two inch classic alphabet. It would be super easy to do. Just a black stitch here connecting the little pennants. Uh -huh put a border around it and you've got a wall hanging. I mean, this it's is beautiful. just super fun. It would be, you could use it as a table topper. Oh, there's right. strawberries. I know. I you see could, something every time I look at this. You could make it bigger. We were talking about you could make it bigger and make like a baby blanket. Yes. Which would be really it fun. It would be super cute. Mm -hmm. So you could do love and then you could do the baby's name. Oh, that would be cute. In penance. I think that's cute. Oh, yes. Or for a wall hanging for the baby's room. Yeah, that very fun. fun too. All right, another thing we love about our cubes is how they mix with our other dies, like our block and board dies and our mm -hmm. applique dies. Mm -hmm. So this is one, it's called the Brew Love Wall Hanging by our good friend Amanda Harwood of Larkspur Quilts. And she used Timeless Treasures fabric. And this is our, tea co our coffee and tea medley die. Yes, so here's that wonky, wonky heart. heart back again. We just made that earlier, we looked at that. And then it's with the, the little coffee cups and this is from Ribbon Twist, causing the steam. But you know what, if you want little steam, you can actually use the shape in the inside of the handle. Yeah, it does. A and little steam. Amanda gets extra points because look at the fabric she used it's on the back. It's a coffee fabric. We Isn't tried to find this. We tried to find it, we remember did. when we, we launched did. this die? We you did. And I looked for it. You know, I wonder if anyone else on the AccuQuilt team loves their cubes as much as you and I do, Pam. Oh, I think Jill does. Let's take a look. Oh. Hi, I'm Jill Friesen, AccuQuilt's art director. The product that I love the most is the Go Cube system. I've only been quilting for a few years, and I found that the Go Cubes are so easy for beginner quilters. In fact, this was the second quilt that I ever made and it was so easy to put together using the cubes. I've made other projects like table runners, wall hangings, and I've even experimented with the cubes just to see how I can get the pieces to fit together without having a pattern. And that was even simple and turned out great. So whether you're a beginner quilter, experienced quilter, the Go Cube system is great and it is definitely my favorite product. Okay, Jill is our art director and she's phenomenal. She is. And I love those quilts she made. 
I do too. She's I do so too. She's so pretty. And you notice she had her wooden quilt block behind her. She and her husband make those wooden quilt yes. blocks together. We each have one. We each have one. Yeah, it's beautiful. We love it, them. I got mine when the carpenter's wheel came out because it looks just like yes. the carpenter wheel blocks. Yes. Okay, so besides our dies and cutters, we have some great sewing accessories that Erica and I both love, and they're available on our website. That's right. And if you've ever watched our Tuesday shows or our quilt alongs, you've probably seen us using some of our very favorites. And one of those are the Karen K. Buckley scissors. We actually had her on a show because we love her scissors so much. So great. Now, we recently added the larger seven and a half inch size that comes with a pink handle to our website. But we heard a, a rumor that we were almost out of them. Yes, but you, if you go to the website right now and yeah. if they're still available, get you some seven inch ones. So Those are perfect. I love that these come with the cover. They do, because the ends are super sharp. Super sharp, but they're, what's great about these is that little serrated edge. That little serrated edge on one side right there, which kind of grips the fabric. Yep. So that you get a great cut and I keep these by my sewing machine. Right, and these by the embroidery machine. Yep, yep, I do. Yeah, I love them. All right, now if we're talking about other essential parts of quilting besides the Go Fabric Cutting System and a sewing machine, right there on the top is the need for pressing, right? Oh my, yes. Okay. Who, who amongst us never dreamed there would be so much pressing involved with quilting? So much. So much. So much. All right, so here is one of the wool mounts that we have for pressing. And I'm going to tell you a couple of things. Once you have this wool mat, you will never just go back to your <laughs> so, so your true. ironing board. You so just won't. So true. I agree 100%. And if you're pressing, that means you need an iron. We happen to have two different varieties. And I don't know. I love them both, but for different uses. They have different uses. So I love the little shovel iron for my applique shape. Uh -huh. So if I am doing embroidery, I keep this handy so that I can just fuse down the, the, the edges inside the hoop right. and keep going on my machine embroidery project. And somebody gave us a really great tip about just sticking in a mason jar. It is, it's the best hey, tip and ever. And there's a die for that if you're looking yes. for a canning oh. jar. <laughs> By the way, there is. Okay, we also carry this great little steam fast iron that's great for pressing out your seams and your quilt blocks. Now quilters, I never use steam when I'm pressing my blocks. Right. But if you wanted to, this little iron can give you a great, it gets wicked hot, but it also gives great steam. But here's the note. If you press with steam on this wool mat, yes. it's gonna go right down through it. Right, so, so if you had it on your rotary cutting mat, you would warp. The it would melt cutting mat. and it would stick to it. Yeah, so, and you would you would not like what happens yeah. to a table underneath it either. Yeah, so, so you're, you're going to need to have this on top of something like your ironing like board. Like your ironing board if you're going to use steam. Yeah, I don't use steam. It sits next to me on my table. Yeah, at yeah. all times. Yeah. Okay, but there's one more thing, right? Well, and they're small and they're lightweight. <laughs> they're easy to take with you. I <laughs> press with this on practically everything all the time mm -hmm. and they're great for taking to retreats or any sewing activity but the one more thing that we have to mention is the thing that's right in front of us on every single show it's our rotary cutting mats yeah so we have two sizes of our go rotary cutting mats um this is 18 by 24 uh -huh. and look erica they have double sided double sided so you can flip them over we also have rotary cutters and rulers that yes. match and then this is 24 by 36. Yes. Now, if you own one of our Go Rolling Totes, this little 18 by 24 guy will slide right into that back pocket. Which makes it excellent for taking with you when you're going quilting on the road. Yeah, quilting, quilting on the road. Quilting on the go. Quilting on the go. Uh -huh. All right, so get you some rotary cutting mats. We have two sides. That's right. All right. And besides that, we like how they look. We do. So I bet many of our quilters didn't even know that we offered all of these things on our site. Bet not. I also bet that a lucky registered viewer would love being able to grab one or two if we gave away another $100 in AccuQuilt reward points. Oh, let's do that. All right, the lucky registered viewer of winning $100 in AccuQuilt reward points is Cupid's Sprinkles. Look at that confetti. I love it. Uh, Julia from Port, Dor Port Dover, Ontario, Canada. Congratulations. I was trying to think of Cupid's Confetti. Magic. Let's call it, oh, Cupid's Magic. Cupid's We're going to call it that. Okay. 
All right, we know today is Valentine's Day, so we wanted to highlight, oh, I forgot about these. Oh, yes. Some embroidery designs that we recently launched uh, that can easily let you add an extra touch of loving personalization to your projects. Okay, there are so many great embroidery designs that it, this is not even all of them. So no. you need to be sure you check out the embroidery section at AccuQuilt.com. Now in honor of National Embroidery Month, all of the machine embroidery designs are 15% off too. So okay. don't forget all of our applique shapes come with those free embroidery designs these are for purchase. So yes. this is the cutest, newest ones. These are, this is the Go Love Gnome. And this is from Specialty Designs. Look at that. I mean, this little gnome's even come equipped with a bouquet of flowers. Yeah, and, and little candy little box. candy box, how cute. Okay. Next up, we've got the Go Loving Gnome Specialty Designs. And one's okay. got hugs and kisses and one says, be mine. And they have no bodies. No, these are just the beard yeah. set on some feet. These are these are wee little gnomes. Wee little gnomes. They are there you go. super cute. Now, it's not all gnomies. It's Go Cupid Penguin. Look at this so, one. It's so funny. Maybe I wonder arrow. if when, when the penguin shoots the arrow, if it makes the little magic sound. The Cupid confetti mm -hmm. sound. I don't know, Cupid's magic. Um, these are the wings from the angel die. Yes. Super okay. adorable. All right, and that's not the only kind of Cupid we have around here. We no. have the Go Cupid Flamingo embroidery Look from at Specialty how fun Design. This flamingo is. And truly, if you have the flamingo die, we have so many amazing oh, embroideries for so the many. flamingos and the penguins and the gnomes. Just go to the website and find them because they're all 15% off. But we've got more. We do. Here's the Go Love Bird Embroidery Specialty Design. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that cute? The little heart. It's just adorable. Yep. Our this little is from the birds. The birds. So die. cute. And this one actually is one of my favorites. Look actually, at this. it is. It's the Go Love Letter Embroidery Design. Yep. This is super fun. You could use this for all different colors with all different styles, hearts and stars. Right. Just so fun. You can embroider somebody's name on there mm -hmm. if you wanted mm -hmm. to. And this is the, wait, let's look. This is the Go Birdhouse. Oh, yes. Look how at how clever how we are at Specialty Designs. Our team in Lincoln did a great job with that. But wait, there's more. Here's the Go Heart Padlock and Key Embroidery <laughs> Specialty Design. I have to say that this is so clever. Isn't this? So this is from the Queen of Hearts. Yes. And it's going to stitch out the little lock and key. Look at yes. how fun that is. Super fun. Next up, we have the Go Love Cute Car Embroidery. And this cute car it's is carrying... It's 3D. It's a little car carrying a lot, big lot of love there. Yeah, and it, look, it's 3D. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, it really is. And love you. And... We've got our Go Tic-Tac-Toe Embroidery Specialty Design. Listen, you should totally be making these on like placemats and letting small children play tic-tac-toe with yeah. candy. And this is this is from the cookie decorations. Yes. So cute. And one last one, but again, there's lots more, is the I Love You. Oh, isn't, isn't this fun? This now, see, this incredible. one reminds me of pins. I don't oh, know what yeah. that says about me. So many things. <laughs> It uses so, the classic, the two-inch classic alphabet and the queen of hearts again. Yep. Look at how fun that is. Love that. All right. I have a feeling all of your quilting heads are spinning after seeing these adorable designs. But our friends at Timeless Treasure gave us fabric selections to help you get started. Now, listen. There's a new rule here in the Dream Studio. Yes. That the lovely Eric and I cannot see the fabric until the show. Because sometimes we want to have it. So right. today in our little uh, mailbox, we got a special delivery. We do. I'm excited. Okay. Bring it on over here, Pam. Don't peek until I we get to the peek. I know. Okay, right. ready? Ready? Yeah. Let's pull down. <gasps> it's Valentine oh, fabric. Oh my God. And it has gnomes. Oh. Valentine's look, gnomes pink. for our good friends at Timeless Treasure. We're oh, and I up. love these pink. Okay, so these would be great for making our North Carolina star, but oh my gosh. Look at those gnomes. Aren't they adorable? It was best they didn't show us. It really now. is. It really is, because it might have been embarrassing if we didn't have anything to give away because we took it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> well, they say we have to give it away. All so right, we will. the first winner of a Timeless Treasures Fabric selection is Magic Sprinkles, please. 
It's Sandra B. from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, you're going to love it. Blue stripes. Stripes, yes. Finding. And the second winner of a selection of fabric is, drum roll please, Moretta C. of El Cajon, California. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, I have to say magic sprinkles. Magic sprinkles. Yes. Oh, my gosh. See, and these are two different shades of pink, so really, yeah. you've got a lot of... A lot of creative possibilities there. And a huge thank you to Timeless Treasures for sponsoring today's trunk show, helping us make this event even more fun. Our quilters are going to love making their projects with this lovely love fabric. So cute, so cute. All right, we can't stop sharing the joy of love yet because we have some more projects that we think are perfect for today. So first of all is the Love No Pillow by our good friend Stephanie oh, Jacobson of one. Steph Jacobson Design. Steph is here local. Yes, she is. And she belongs to the Omaha Modern Quilt Guild. And last week she taught a whole big class on Aki Quilt. She did. She I did. know. Here's Look. our little note, our little love note. And you can just put the... Uh, oh, which one of the guys gave the our little love note? Um, I, did it come like that, Brock, or did you put that in there? Thanks, Brock. We oh, love you, you too. And it has the Queen of Hearts uh, Valentine's on it. And it's fun because it's got straight line quilting, but it's different colors. She's used pink and red and cream, and she's used yeah. different stitches. It's just really fun. Darling. And again, you could totally make it a wall hanging or a, I mean, it's a pillow, but. Speaking of wall hangings, here is the heart of my heart wall hanging. This would be super fast and easy because these are all with our heart die. The Go Heart die has three different sizes of hearts in it. So you see all three right here. 100% applique. Yeah. You just fuse them down. You've got your borders and just some some nice meandering in the background. Boom, you're done. Do so cute. all over stitching. Yes. Next up, we have a bed runner. We said we had a bed runner. We promised you a bed runner. And here is the Go Hugs and Kisses bed runner. This uses Island Boutique Fabrics and our companion set um, angles because it has signature blocks. Yes. To make these and uh, the original cube. So you can make this out of any size cube. Yes. And as long as you have the companion angles and there are no Y seams. None. Isn't that lovely? Not a single one. I All love right. it. So we're going to wrap up this little party here with our double sided apron. Oh, this is super cute. Erica made this. So here's our here's our apron with the gnomes. And our gnomesses. And our, our cookie decorations heart. But then when you flip it over. Look at this. Here's the back. There's the back. There's the go It's just heart. the heart. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the largest one. And yeah. then to match it, we've got a set of oh, we tea towels. Yep, and one's got the heart. And one has got our little gnome pair. Our little gnome couple. I love it. I love it. All right. Showed so, them all sorts of fun love all things. All sorts today. of fun things. And did you not find a dozen or so projects that you all want to make today? I know we simply love them all. So quilters, early in the show, we asked what AccuQuilt products you love. We've been doing nothing but talking about what we love. So now it's time to hear your responses. All right. So, um, Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe. Uh, Joe says he loves the pineapple dye. It, back to his old favorite. Yes. He wavered for a while. He's back to the pineapple. He did like Carpenter's Wheel for a while. Now, Sandy K says the, the cubes, the block cube block yep. sets. Terry Y likes strips and bobs. Yes. Yes. Beth C says her 8 inch and 12 inch cube. Now, that's oh, specific. Are... And you know what? Chris really was, was very specific about loving his 8 inch cube. Yeah. He did. He did. And Lydia likes her Go Big. Oh, yes. Yeah, we love our oh, Go Big as love well. Love our Go Bigs. Becky W. says the Hunter Star. Oh, very good. And that's one of our first Bob dies. It's very classic, mm -hmm. makes a 12 inch finish block. It is. I mean, Jacqueline it. loves all of her dies, but especially her strip dies. See? Yes. Always. Uh, Always. My two favorite are one and a half and one and three quarters. That's how you make flange binding. Paula P says her go big. I've got to agree with you, Paula. There we go. And Josie loves the gnome dye. We, we do. We did have some gnomey love today, gnome didn't we? Gnomey love, flamingo love, penguin love. Yes. And while we're talking about those, oh, yes. shall we talk about some llama love? Llama love. 
Let's talk about those. The okay. llama is our dye to try for this month, and that means that our adorable llama, look how cute this is, is only available for this month or while supplies last. And I have to tell you, we could, I can definitely see us running out of this llama yeah. before the end of the month. It yeah. is so adorable. It was super cute. And this is a really fun pillow made by our good friend, uh, Marianne Fontana mm -hmm. of Fontana Originals. So again, a really springy, fun um, uh, pillow that you can make. But our Go Llama Dye, these are really great. We love it. Okay. We love it. So Pam, we've already talked about some of our favorite quilting dyes. What, tell me what you couldn't imagine living without. Um, oh, well, for sure I can't imagine a strip dye because I use them for binding and borders and sashing and squares yep. and making bias binding. Yep. How about you? Well, I would have said strip dyes, but you already said that, so I am definitely going to say my cubes, especially the smaller size ones. So the reason why I do like working, I think, with the small sizes is because I know they're perfectly cut because the smaller the size, the less room for error. You don't have any wiggle room, and I know my dies are gonna cut them perfectly. And I love those smaller cubes for scraps. Oh, so good for scraps. And I am overrun with scraps. We need she to do is. a scrap show. She, we do. All right, quilters, we have tons of great deals available for you on our website because we, we love you so much. We do, we do. To get your order in, open a new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party to go to the site, see the offers, and place your order. Now, remember, you can also find our products, including the Go Llama, at your local AccuQuilt retailer. Check out the store locator. It's on our website for more information. All right, Quilters, are you going to the AQS Daytona show? I will be there uh, Wednesday through Saturday, so come and say hello. On Friday at 1 p.m., I'm teaching a class using our 9-inch cube. Mm -hmm. So many people have asked me about where can they find the pattern. It's an, it's an exclusive pattern to the class, so if you want to check it out, uh, there's still a few spots left in my class Fantastic. if you want to do that. And then I will be hosting the lounge Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Wednesday, we're going to stream you live. From That's here. right. That's right. Yep. Plus, our good friends at Cut Up and Sew will be hosting the AccuQuilt booth there at the show. So you can stop by. You can see hands-on demos right there. Pick up some AccuQuilt product. All right. It's time for us to get ready for our next show. We hope that today's trunk show was just what you needed to inspire you to create your next project that you will fall in love with. Happy Valentine's Day, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Don't forget to check out our events page to register for upcoming events. Registering for each event means you're entered to win a door prize that we'll give away during the show. And be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Tomorrow, the lovely Eric and I will be starting the Go Stars in the Crown Throw Quilt as part of our 2023 AQS and Accu Quilt Along series. And join us every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time for launch parties and more trunk shows like the one we had today. These events are filled with tips, tricks, inspiration, and exciting samples. Next time, we'll be relaunching a classic block and offering some new inspiration for it. We hope to see you there.